I'll be completely honest, I've tried to record this video about 20 different times. I think if you're going to take a three month break from YouTube and come back, it needs to be an absolute banger of a video. And this one's pretty damn juicy. Let's begin. <laughs> Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. It's good to say that. It's good to be back. I've kind of missed you guys. <laughs> Do apologise for going AWOL for the last couple of months, I've got a pretty good reason. I've been reading your comments over the last couple of weeks, uh, thank you for the support and of course the number one comment is, could you please speak English please, I can't understand you. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Uh, talk about jumping from the frying pan into the fire, it's good to be back. Now hopefully by now you've seen Mid Journey, you've seen Stable Diffusion, you've seen Dali 2. We're living in a fantastic age where AI is generating artwork. I've seen a lot of YouTubers jumping on this bandwagon as well. Oh, check out this, check out this. You know, like, dude, you're entering fucking text into Discord. Calm the fuck down. Let's not get off track. So let me quickly tell you a story. Let's set the lights down low. Let's put on a little bit of romantic music. Let's begin. So there is a new website, a new service that offers to take 2D images and turn them into 3D mesh. Now, I'm of the opinion that we're at that point where AI can actually do that. I think we're maybe 10 years off the curve, but I think at the moment, yes, we can certainly extrude a 2D depth image and we can turn this into geometry. So this obviously is a new service that offers to do this, take a 2D image, make it a 3D mesh. So when you come to technology, wow, that is a huge step forward for us guys, especially in this industry. So let's pick the number one contrary, Andrew Price. You recently published an article about KDIM, I think that's how you pronounce it, AI that can produce 3D models from 2D drawings. Did you get to see the tech first hand? So he's kind of questioning this already. Because long production times, expensive pricing and human looking results have made many sceptical. Now, for legal reasons, I can neither confirm nor deny these accusations and this is completely opinion based. All I can do is give you a kind of skewed version of the evidence and I'll let you guys make up your own mind but there's already a little bit of doubt in people's mind and I've actually seen firsthand users posting an image and they've seen the 3D model. Now I've been in this game long enough to know when something's modelled by hand and I can 100% say with certainty this model has been touched by human hands. There's no awkward geometry now the model shit, it looks like somebody that's been working in Blender for three months tops. I don't think they've even done the donut tutorial. And obviously because I do Blender Royale every Monday, I get to see these results firsthand. This model has certainly been touched by a human hand. It's too many errors, too many human errors. We could argue, and they do argue, that some models actually go through a refinement stage. They actually do go over to a human, because the algorithm doesn't get it right, apparently. So let's quickly jump on their website and before I show you the pricing and your jaw drops, turn in 2D images into 3D content. Create quickly in 3D with zero 3D modelling knowledge. Now that's a kind of contradictive one because what do you do when you've got a 3D model? Do you just kind of leave it sitting on your desktop? You need some sort of 3D knowledge. It might not be modelling knowledge but you need some of it. Now, the image on the left and the image on the right is an example. I believe this is completely market material. I don't think this is generated by AI because that looks like the line modifier from Blender. I think it's actually a sketch and you can definitely tell that's a Blender model on the right. But one could argue, yes, yeah, for marketing, we want a nice clean image. Fair enough. Now, we can let that one slip. So as it says, we take two of the images and we make them into 3D check out the pricing because this is where your balls are going to hit the ground. $539 a month for 30 generations and 12 iterations. Now, if you're paying a 3D modeler, you could probably argue that you're saving yourself a bit of cash. Now, I've seen the results of these models and they're a little bit meh, meh. Uh, they're not production ready. Or the pro version you can buy for $1,600 a month. Now, that is pretty damn expensive. That is a lot of money, and I think this is where the scepticism actually derives from. Why do you need that much money a month to do this? But this is an image that's been kicking around. Now, I can't confirm if this is real or fake. I think whoever owns the programme said this is a fake image, but there's a lot of supporting evidence to say this is actually real, and this is a job listing for the company. 
One of the things that they're speculating, able to produce low quality 3D assets from 2D images 15 minutes after they're requested. Now that sounds a little bit dodgy right there, okay? <laughs> there's no getting around that, if this is a true image. Now one thing I'd maybe argue in their favour is, there's a lot of degradation in this image, it looks a little bit doctored. So, you've got to take this one with a pinch of salt, but I did see a few other kind of postings that kind of follow the same narrative, willing to be paid on a per asset basis. It's quite a dodgy one as well, willing to work as a freelancer. So I think this is where a lot of the scepticism actually came from, but it actually forced the CEO or the creator of the programme to give a response. Now I don't doubt their ability, I kind of checked out their background, they went, I think it was Bristol University, they'd done a science degree in computing, and I as I said, I think this technology can actually exist at the moment. So maybe they've built the technology, and they do argue here that it goes through a kind of quality control, so somebody will actually look at the model at the end, they might tweak it just to kind of match it. It's a very politician's answer, they do not really answer any questions or any of the accusations. They kind of completely blow over the top of this, to be honest, and it's definitely went through marketing before they hit publish. <laughs> Definitely. What I think is going on here at the moment is they've got this technology, it's not 100%, they're getting funding, they need to make a certain amount of money to actually implement this technology. I think they do have modelers in the background modelling a lot of this stuff. It's not 100% AI. I don't know. What's your opinion on this? It's pretty damn juicy, but yeah, it's good to be back. Anyway, do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Woo. Take care.